man. It's a strong tower. It's a strong tower. To, yeah, those that those that believe run into it and are safe, man. Those that don't care, those that have their own agenda, are they gonna play? They're gonna joke around. They, you can call them whatever you want, man. The Most High is gonna kill you for that. That's plain and simple. That's why we don't have love for the two thirds, cause the two thirds don't respect the name. Nate, you the chief, you the head chief of that shit, man. You don't respect the name. And that's why we out here on these corners pushing the name because we had the most high gave us the he gave us the spirit to put that name out there, man. He revealed it unto our elders, our apostles, and, and it's 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 down to us now, man. And we ought to keep that name, man. There's no other name under heaven where man ought to be saved. The elect ain't gonna be saved by no goddamn Allah, man. Or yo play yogurt. Or Yahweh. None of that shit, man. How about Shem Yahweh Shai is gonna save his elect? Straight up, man. Death to you, man. Death to you niggas that's playing with the name. That, that shit is it, irritating amongst the men that, that, that give a fuck about the Lord, man. It's irritating. It says, um, I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is, and thou holdest fast my name and hast not denied my faith. Even in those days where Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against thee, because thou uh, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of uh, Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. That's right, man. That's, and that's basically niggas, you know what I'm saying, false prophets, and, 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 and teaching, uh, other gods and that shit. If you're teaching uh, fucking Christ or Jesus or anything else, you're teaching a false god. You ain't if you ain't coming in the name of Yahweh Shemi Shai, then it's a fucking idol. That's then it's it's Baal, Balak, but it's all the same. You might as well go to the motherfucking uh the grove out there in California and front that out. Like, it's the same thing. Yeah, fine. <laughs> you just putting on a garment. That's right. That's right. I think that's all I wanted in that chapter, though, man. Right. That's that's pretty much you know what I'm saying. All I want to say is, if you had Second Corinthians, sixth chapter. Okay. Second Corinthians chapter six verse one. We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of the Most High in vain. Yeah, we we read that. It says that you receive not the grace of the Most High in vain. All right, because the Most High he had grace and mercy upon certain men to come out here and be able to teach his word. All right, so when he gives you, you know, he gives you that opportunity to t to do so. That don't mean once you once you go home and you're on your own to not be studying, or right, to be doing the same thing that the two thirds are doing, to pretty much be taking on the customs of ba uh, Baalim or Balak, you know. All right, it says receive not the grace of the Most High in vain. Don't take advantage of it, man. Use it, use it, um, use that grace lawfully. For he saith, I have heard thee. In the time accepted, and in the day this of is the, this is a lot. This is the time accepted, man. Why is this the time accepted? Because this is the time of uh, it, it, we're going into Jacob's trouble, man. This is when we ought to be teaching. This is when we ought to be pushing the word harder than ever. That's why through the Spirit, the apostles said this is the year to push. All right, this is that time accepted to teach this word, to be be faithful unto how about Shimei was shy always, man. We're in the last days. We, we, we gotta keep pushing this word. This is the time accepted. Go ahead, brothers. And in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the time accepted. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Now is the day. We're, we're living in a. We've been living in the last days for 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 many a years, man. Since shit <laughs> way back in the G, man. Well, right now we're living at what well, you said—the the credits, man. The credits is rolling. The credits is rolling right now. 
the credits is rolling right now. This is the time of our salvation. That's why it says, let me get that in Romans. It says, um, that's why I said our, our salvation is nearer than when we believe. That's another reason why it's irksome to see Jake going off, man. To see, like, play, just playing around, man. Acting like this is a, this is a joke. This is a game. All right? And men, that's, men that even come into this thing, you know, like the brother was saying earlier, and pretty much being spies, man. Men that's coming in being, uh, what, it said that in the book of Galatians, the second chapter. All right? You have certain certain false people that come in um, you know, to, to search out our liberty. All right? To see what things that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh have given us through the Spirit. Uh, uh, high time. Yeah, I know uh, the scripture I'm just trying to. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I got the fresh daddy. Yeah. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now is high time to wake out of sleep. Yeah, high, now is high time to wake out of sleep, man. It's very urgent. That, and that, that's why it's important that we continue to push this work on a heavy level. All right? Because it's high. The, the times is the times is expedited, man. The time is moving faster than we, than we expected. All right? This is high time. That's why we come out here and say, Jake, wake the hell up, man. All right, we know we know that we know that two thirds of y'all not gonna wake up anyway, but we know amongst you two thirds, the elect is somewhere in there, man. The elect is somewhere in there. Go ahead. For now, is our salvation nearer than when we believe? Yeah, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. When you see these prophecies kicking off and these these prophecies are jumping off every day, man. All right, when you see the prophecies coming to pass in front of your face, you're like, okay, there, the Most High working, man. The Most High working. It said the Most High, he ain't gonna lie to us. He, 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 gonna, he said he gave us the promise, man. The promise of salvation. The promise that these these, um, these devils are gonna be put to death. And we see, we see it happen on different levels every day, man. So right now, initially we're out here for the elect, man. This high times because the Most High is moving. The Most High is moving right now. As, as we speak, the Most High is moving, man. All right. Uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 6 and 3. Give me no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. Yeah, that's giving no offense in anything. So that means, what does that mean? You have to be outside of the camp and it's inside the camp. You have to be the same person. If, you, if you're a wicked person, you're going to be a wicked person. But if you're faithful unto your how about you, shy, you keep the law, see your best abilities, you're going to do that. Because if you, if you let's say you at the camp, are right, you showing you showing charity? All right, you know you picking up brothers' bags. You're doing this. You're doing that. But then when you you know you get around some niggas, some niggas that you know in the world, all right, you 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 doing everything against the scriptures. And then you know what I'm saying? People gonna be like, well, that you know the scriptures must not be nothing. You know what I'm saying? Did he committing adultery? Oh shit, the scriptures ain't nothing then. All right, that's that's not giving no offense to anything that the ministry be not blamed. Cause ain't the, the truth ain't gonna make you go commit no adultery. The truth ain't gonna make you go do some wicked shit. So that's that's why I said giving no giving no uh, offense that the ministry that uh, that the ministry be not blamed, man. You can blame that on the works of Satan, because Satan Satan he had the Most High has given him certain types of little uh, powers too, man. All right, but nothing, nothing in this truth is gonna make you blatantly. Come. It say he give no man license to sin, so he it, ain't nothing in this truth is gonna blatantly make you go off, man. But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of the Most High. But in all things, everything that we do has to be towards. Furthering this, furthering our knowledge in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and doing His will. But in all things, approving ourselves as the ministers of the Most High, in much patience. In much patience. We right now we're waiting. Uh, we're waiting on the salvation. We're waiting on the day 
waiting on the day that, that uh, Russia, <laughs> Russia and these different nations decide they want to declare war on America and hit the and hit those those uh, buttons to release those nukes. Ultimately, we're waiting on the salvation, but we're waiting on many things that's leading up to it, man. Right. You know, we're waiting on Venezuela, like <laughs> yeah, 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 you know. <laughs> Because that, 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 that's going to come over here, man. But, uh, contrary to popular belief, that same type of thing is going to come over here to the Americas, man. That spirit. You know? Yeah, the, the spirit of uh, the spirit of Venus. It's going to come over to America, and these people are not going to know what to do, man. You can, you can sit and watch watch what Venezuela is going through, eating you know, eating uh, animals and uh, things like that. They're, pigeons they're, and dogs. Pigeons, yeah, you know? House it's, cats. It's easier to watch it than to actually go through it. And it but... The Most High is gonna put you, you Americans through it, man. The elect are gonna go through it, but the Most High is gonna be watching over the elect. You know. In afflictions, in afflictions, cause we 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 living in hell right now, man. You know, we're living in a hell hole where you gotta pay taxes. You know, and it, there's unrighteous balances. All right, women women are above men. The so-called white man ultimately is. Uh, um, he has rule over the, the over the people. If you don't go by Esau's uh, rules, or like I like I did a sit down earlier, man, which is um, it, it, this is Esau's world. It's not his land. This is his world, man. And when we when we have to we have to maneuver in Esau's world, man. That's which that's that's an affliction. That's affliction under that's vexing vexation of the spirit, man. I just see our. Man, man, our, the generations of Israel is getting worse and worse, man. All right, the women are getting worse and worse. You Negro, you, uh, um, you false prophets are getting worse and worse. That's an affliction to have to see our people going off like that, man. And to see that these these Edomites, these so-called white people, living glories when they should be they should be the servants, man. You got something? Yeah. This is uh, Job 90:24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Yeah, the wicked is the so-called white man. All right, he's the wicked of the earth. And the earth, and, and, and it's obvious that he's he's in rulership right now, man. The Africans not ruling the world. The Israelites aren't ruling the world. The Chinese, the Samoans, the so-called white man's ruling the world, and he's the wicked of the earth, man. He's the wicked of the earth. Because the things that he's done, look at his rap sheet, slaughtering people for no cause, putting taxes on people, putting putting all kind of hell on the people, man, even on his own people. And and our people that and that that's the spirit that's been going around. Jake been trying to save these goddamn devils, man. Jake wanted you want you would jump in front of a bullet for these goddamn devils because they in power. But when when your own brother is suffering and going through going through things. In, inside or inside the truth or not or, or not inside the truth, man. Just as an Israelite going through the curses, you are down that man, but you are, you will kiss this so-called white man's ass, man. In a minute. Yeah, hey, yeah. This is like a on that on the X Man. You know, Magneto. He was working in the steel factory or whatnot, and uh, a whole big pot of liquid steel was gonna fall on this dude, and he stopped it from falling on him. You know what I'm saying? He was hiding amongst. Uh, basically, he was hiding amongst the trees, and they seen him, and instead of them saying, oh, he's cool, you know what I'm saying, he saved a life, you know what I'm saying, they came to get him and his fucking family, and they killed his daughter and his wife in front of him. Yeah, you man. know what I'm saying? That's equivalent to, you know, you knowing the truth, but, you know what I'm saying, you want to go and fucking save these niggas, you know what I'm saying, that's, a, that's against you. You got you got the power, you know what I'm saying, to, to rule this place. You know it in your spirit. But you wanna give it to these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Why? Hey, for so for their approval? Yeah, yeah. Give a fuck what you think? That's right. You gotta have a kingdom mind in this thing, man. The king don't give a fuck what a peasant got to say about nothing. If I lay that rod down, that, that that scepter, and I say this is the law, motherfucker, you gonna follow it. That's what a king does. He delegates. He he sets the rules. And 
Everybody else follows them. Or get the fuck out the kingdom. Hey, get that get that in Isaiah. Uh, I believe it's uh, 63rd chapter. All right, because that, that's, that's right on. That's right on point, man. Because that's how the Most High is going to set it up for us, man. He's going to have us. He's going to have the elect. Let's, let's start with the elect. He's going to have them. Them, them are, We are going to be the the um, the, the, um, the law givers of the earth, man. Under Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the King David, and Yahweh Shai. And, you know, we're going to be we're gonna be ruling the land, man. And you other nations, in the book of um, Isaiah 63, is going right, right into what the brother was saying. Um, matter of fact, I, I, I grab it because, it, it, and it says that, that that's not going off. This is the book of Isaiah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, gun. This is the book of Isaiah, uh, sixty and eleven. I got it. Oh, uh, sixty and eleven. Yeah. Gun, gun. Yeah. Read that, brother. 